Hello, I am Mira Gerwala from Me to Studies of Ateneo de Naga University. I am taking the course of AB Communication and part of the Section CC12. So, if you're wondering why I am talking to myself and looking at my face in the screen, it is because I will be your teacher for today. Char. I will just guide you and introduce to you the different types of wires as well as I will guide you on how to use Adobe Audition so that in the end of this video you are aware of how Adobe Audition works and you can also record your own voice and edit it using that software. So without further ado, let's get started! How Adobe Audition software works. But before that, I will just discuss to you the introduction of wires and connectors. The first one is Audio Track, which is an opening or a port that enables a fitting or compatible connector to be associated with the jack. The jack is the common with a fixed portion in the chair that does not move much. One of these types is the 3.5mm headphone jack. It is an industry standard audio plug that most commonly used for connecting a pair of stereo headphones to your smartphone. Also, one of the types of audio jack is 1 fourth inch phone jack, which the most popular and common audio connections of all. It is occasionally referred to as a headphone jack and it's also known as a stereo mini jack. The next is HDMI cable which stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. It is commonly used HD signal for the transferring of both high definition audio and video through a single cable from one device to another. RCA, a type of connector is commonly used in most consumer stereo equipment. The next is XLR, which stands for external line return. The difference between a male connector and a female connector is simple. The male connector can also be referred to as a plug. Just like people, the male has pins that plugs into something. While the female connector can also be referred to as a jack or has a hole to receive something. As PDIF, which is stands for Sony Philips Digital Interconnect Format is a consumer audio connection standards for transmitting high quality digital audio. It is primarily used for connecting home cinemas, game consoles, set-up boxes, computers, and other consumer entertainment devices. While AES or Audio Engineering Society it is a professional series interface for transferring digital audio from CD and DVD players to amplifiers and TVs. The next is ADAT which stands for Alesis Digital Audio Tape. That optical uses the same interconnect as the ubiquitous two-channel format but includes eight channels of digital audio data. So it is one of the standard digital IQ connections found on many pieces of digital audio gear, such as mixers and recorders. The next one is audio interfaces. These convert microphone and instrument signals into format, computer, and software recognized. This also routes audio from your computer out of your headphones and studio monitors. So, let's proceed to the explanation of mono and stereo. The difference between mono and stereo audio is that mono audio has just one channel whereas stereo contains two channels. In addition, mono signals are recorded and played back using single audio channels, while stereo sounds are recorded and played back using two audio channels. As a listener, the most noticeable difference is that stereo sounds are capable of producing the perceptions of wit, whereas mono sounds are not. I will just give you a background about the types of microphones, which omnidirectional microphones and the dynamic microphones. Omnidirectional microphones are microphones that pick up sound with equal gain from all sides or directions of the microphone. 
This means that whether a user speaks into the microphone from the front, back, left, or right side, the microphone will record the signals with equal gain. While dynamic microphone is designed to black out as much background as possible except your voice incoming signal, it is built in a cardio polar pattern which specially focuses on picking up your voice from the front while canceling out as much as noise from the back. Dynamic microphones, on the other hand, use sound waves that vibrate the diaphragm and create electricity. So let's proceed to Adobe Edition. Before we tackle about the use of Adobe Audition, we must set up our microphone first. The first thing we have to do is to search for a uh, control panel and then find the sound and click it as you can see there are these devices that that this PC are connected with In order to check our microphone if it's working, we must click on the properties and 16 bit. Na dapat same din dun sa Adobe Audition. So as you can see, my green line, which is like papahiwatig na yung microphone ay nag work. After that, we can proceed to opening the Adobe Audition para makapag-record na tayo. Kindly tap the search bar and search Adobe Audition 2022. This is our workspace. But before that, we must check again if our mic is working. So, let's check for preferences. Click hardware and then check if and check if the default input is microphone. Hey. Also the system default. And lastly is latency. After that we can record our own voice by just clicking the waveform and set up the file name. And you can start the record by just clicking the red dot. Hello, hello, sound check one, sound check two, what sound check three. that you can edit it in a multi-track by just set up your file name and kindly drag your audio and now you're ready to edit it If you want to save your work, just kindly click export. Set up the format to mp3. And change the location. And you're done.